Debbie Sardone has seen how hard the battle against cancer can be, especially when trying to keep a clean house. When my mother was battling cancer, I saw firsthand the difficulty and the struggle. And I could only imagine if she couldn't afford maid service, her having to keep her own house clean. It would have been out of the question. Debbie went on to start her own cleaning business. One day, she answered a call that would change her life. I took a call from a woman who was just inquiring about pricing for cleaning her home at my company, Buckets and Bows Maid Service. And before she hung up the phone, she said, I can't really afford that right now. I'm going through chemotherapy and radiation and I'm not working. And she hung up before it even occurred to me that I could have offered her the cleaning for free. That day, Debbie implemented a new policy in her company. No woman in my community that was battling cancer would have to recover in dirty house. Here they are in the battle for their life. Pushing a vacuum, scrubbing a toilet is out of the question. The impact of her decision didn't just affect her own business. I turned that company policy into a nationwide nonprofit, and we began recruiting maid services all over the United States and Canada to also donate free cleanings in their community to women battling cancer. With the help of these maid services, women across the country are receiving the help they need. I have seen something as simple as a toilet brush change a life. Walking into a clean home gives women strength and hope so that they can focus on their health. One particular woman, Carolyn, wrote us, she said that her diagnosis with cancer was so crushing, she did not believe she was gonna beat that disease. And after walking into a, a clean home, she said for the first time since her diagnosis, she felt control back in her life. For Debbie, cleaning is more than just a business. I am so personally enriched by making sure that these women don't have to come home to a dirty house. Several of them have become very personal friends and it's, it's an emotional relationship and it's really a spiritual relationship. I'm helping them through this difficult time and they're giving back to my soul and feeding my soul just by their friendship and their love. You know, I feel like cleaning for a reason is a calling. When you're in business, obviously you spend your days focusing on growing your business, but I answer to God and I answer to a higher calling. I think as Christians, that is something we all need to look for in our own lives or in our own businesses, is ways to serve others and to make their life better.